Hi, my name is Tony Dorenzo, executive chef at Waterfront Grill, located in New Bedford, Mass., right on the number one fishing port in the country. Today we're doing pan-roasted swordfish, Tuscan orzo, and citrus lime vinaigrette. So the ingredients you need to prepare this dish, uh, you have some extra virgin olive oil, you have some balsamic glaze, which you can purchase at any supermarket, or you can make it. Uh, the ingredients are basically balsamic vinegar uh, and sugar reduced down to its uh, thick syrup consistency. Uh, we have orzo, which is a, um, a pasta, sh uh, oval-shaped pasta, tiny pasta. Uh, we have feta cheese. We have sun-dried tomatoes. We have arugula, which is a bitter green. Uh, we have basil, and we have some citrus. And, of course, we have the thick-cut swordfish. How can you tell what a, a fresh piece of swordfish looks like? It has a nice uh, bright red bloodline, which you see on this one right here, and a nice uh, bright colored uh, flesh. It's a little bit of shine to it. First thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and then I'm going to turn on my saute pan to about medium to medium high heat. I'm going to add one ounce of olive oil to the saute pan. And I'm going to let this heat up till it's just about at the smoking point. You'll start to see a little bit of smoke come from the, from the oil. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to season my swordfish, which is a nice thick center cut swordfish, um, on all sides. So now I'm going to add my swordfish to the saute pan. And you, when you put the sword, when you place the swordfish in, you should hear a loud searing noise. That will give it a, a nice brown crust on all sides. You want to leave it on each side for about a minute to a minute and a half. I'm going to turn the swordfish over, and you'll see it has a nice brown color to it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sear the other side as, as well. Nice brown color. I'm going to place the swordfish right on the pan. I'll place the swordfish in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make the citrus vinaigrette. I have limes, I have oranges, and I have lemons. So we're going to take the bowl, mixing bowl. We're going to squeeze the, um, the lime, lemon. So now I'm going to add my lime. So you have a half of a lemon, a half of a lime, and then half of an orange. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk in the olive oil. You want it about two thirds um, citrus juice to one third oil. I'm going to also add some salt and pepper, and it's a real simple vinaigrette. So now we're making the orzo salad, the Tuscan orzo salad. Uh, we have arugula, we have feta cheese, we have sun-dried tomatoes, and we have orzo. Um, I'm going to add some orzo to the citrus vinaigrette, adding the feta cheese. I'm going to add some of the sun-dried tomatoes. put as much as you like. Now I'm going to add the arugula. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this thoroughly. Take the uh, swordfish out of the oven. Nice and golden brown. So I'm going to put the orzo salad in the center of the plate. I'm going to place the swordfish right on top of the orzo salad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remaining citrus vinaigrette. I'm going to spoon some of that right on the swordfish. I'm 
And then we're going to garnish with some balsamic glaze. I like to put it in a circle. And that's it. So here you have it, pan-roasted swordfish, Tuscan orzo salad, and citrus vinaigrette.